All right, back to football because of former U of A standout Rob Gronkowski's involvement in a Super Brawl during the Super Bowl. The Gronk continues to make headlines. Get it, the goal line. There'd be no passing of the torch at quarterback here at Super Bowl 49 in Glendale. Tom Brady trailed by 10 points. It was his biggest deficit in all six Super Bowls, but somehow, some way, he found a way to win on this very field. And the shooting extended beyond that busy intersection here in South Juarez. One innocent bystander was actually hit by a bullet in the foot. She was working at this quesadilla stand. As you can see, this is just one example of the many bullet holes. You'll never see something like this. Authentic banda, straight from Mexico. A Mexican League game right here in Tucson, Arizona. What a festive atmosphere it is. Every day for little Andrew revolves around medication, medication and more medication, literally. He always has to take insulin every single day, of course, breathing treatments as well. And this is no exaggeration, folks. Literally, we are talking 40 pills a day. 40. No day is real easy. Andrew has to be connected to a device like this that shakes him up in order to clear his airway so he can breathe better. You can hear in my voice how much wear and tear it does to the body. Reportando desde Palm Desert, Paul Sicala, Cuna Noticias, Telemundo. It's a matter of life and death. Emergency crews deal with it all the time. It's called the golden hour. Once they get a call, boom, they're out the door. Within a minute, fire crews are en route to saving lives, but sadly, sometimes traffic gets in the way. Mayfield certainly had La Cueva High School's numbers. The long walk from the border to Magdalena. Growing up on Tucson South Side near the Tohono O'odham Indian Reservation, I had a lot of childhood friends always talk about the pilgrimages their families made over the generations from San Javier all the way to Magdalena. I feel very honored that I too am making that long journey. And one thing that's very interesting to me is seeing all of the diversity along the way. They also painted Bear Down U of A. Hey, I grew up as a big U of A fan, but I promise it wasn't me. Sure it wasn't. That's it for now. <laughs> I'm Paul Cicala for News 4 Tucson Sports. Have a positive, productive day filled with lots of joy. I am still laughing as we speak. All right, coming up a bit later in sports, we will continue our coverage here on the Super Bowl. We'll talk to some of the players themselves. Now it is raining confetti as USC has won its third straight Rose Bowl. Well, today a familiar face from Channel 13 will appear on Oprah. Action News reporter Paul Sakala, reporter on this story. Yeah, well, the sad reality is most people that I talked to were, were outraged. Um, and as a journalist, you have to be objective. You have to find both sides. Bienvenidos a su noticiero con la mayor información local en español. Game time is set for 5.30 p.m. Fans are rushing in. Now, I might add that they were expecting and hoping for a sellout, but at this point, I am getting confirmation that there are still 2,000 tickets remaining for this big game. Now, Christina was born on 9-11, September 11, 2001. I'm literally retracing the steps of the six and eight year old kids this morning. They were headed north across Fort Lowell on their way to school. Obviously there was a lot of traffic in the morning as people headed to work and also took their kids to school. Now the eight year old, he was able to make it across the street, but sadly the six year old wasn't so fortunate. He was struck and hit in this area here, just a few inches from the curve. And it won't get any easier for the San Diego Chargers, that's for sure. That's because it's their last game. Here goes. Marshawn Lynch, what are your thoughts of Arizona? I'm here so I won't get fined. What's your favorite color? I'm here so I won't get fined. Marshawn, what do you say to all the kids that look up to you? I'm here so I won't get fined. And in this case, the NFL will accommodate Lynch, most likely by not finding him again for saying, I'm here so I won't get fined. And I am here just to bring you, the viewers, some feature stories on the athletes themselves. I'm on this very field right here at Qualcomm Stadium. Paul Sakala joins us from the Strip live with more. Paul? Well, this is a current events issue that most people seem to have an opinion about. This is pro baseball at its best. Many people don't realize that a lot of major leaguers play their winter ball in Latin America and many, of course, in Mexico. It's a different field. Still, the Arizona Wildcats fall to a respectable 10 wins and three losses on the season. And now 
It's a waiting game. Girls Club Sports Director Palsy Collis shows how he landed those big tickets. Attending the Super Bowl, that's something we all want to do, right? Well, for a kid from the Boys and Girls Club of Tucson, that dream is becoming a reality. Congrats, man. Did you have any idea what's going to happen? Hey! This was the scene a couple of weeks ago when Cesar Rivera found out he was going to the Super Bowl. And now he's here in Glendale, gearing up to see the Seahawks and Patriots live. First of all, I'd like to thank NBC, Comcast, and the Boys and Girls Club of Tucson for giving me this opportunity, but I can't even express how excited I am because... I mean, this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Tickets were given out to just one kid from the Boys and Girls Club in the entire U.S. And Cesar, a member of the Pasquayaki Club in Tucson, got the call. Let's flash back. We at News 4 Tucson have staged an interview with the CEO of the Boys and Girls Club, then surprised the Pueblo High School senior. It was all caught on camera. Check it out. Helping to send a kid to the Super Bowl. And well, instead of asking you about that, how about we ask Cesar himself? Cesar. What's it mean for you to get an opportunity to go to the Super Bowl? Compliments of the Boys and Girls Club of Tucson and Comcast NBC Universal. Thank you. <laughs> Did you even know you were going to the Super Bowl? No. Well, now you are. You're going to yeah. the <laughs> I'm going to the Super Bowl. Cesar right. says he is proud to represent Tucson and a worthy club that helps kids like him stay off the streets and learn life skills. Like I have a hat on my head, so I'm representing the Boys and Girls Club now, like everywhere I go. Cesar tells me he is hoping the Patriots beat the Seahawks. And now, another surprise for Cesar. The Patriots are also cheering for him. Uh, Marcus Cannon here with the New England Patriots. I uh, just wanted to say uh, congratulations, Cesar, and the uh, Pasqua Yaki uh, Boys and Girls Club. And I uh, hope you have fun at the Super Bowl. You know, have a good time. Go out there. You're doing a great job. I'm going to the Super Bowl. No, Cesar. Correction. That was then. And now, I'm here. You certainly are, my friend. In addition, Cesar Rivera will get the opportunity to hang out with folks from the Today Show. We're talking NBC big time. Reporting from Glendale, Arizona, Paul Cicala, News 4, Tucson. I admit it, I grew up as a U of A <laughs> fan, and uh, uh -huh. but I, I wasn't around uh, the Phoenix area. You sure? I, I, I'm positive. <laughs> it wasn't me, that's for sure. You're positive? <laughs> That's for sure. That didn't stop you and the fans. They definitely realize and appreciate that. <laughs> Tucson's a great place. It's fun. Aqui in Tucson. Tucson. That's what's great about it. Tucson. 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 Okay, that's enough.